Hi, I'm Will from Meku, and in this video, I'll walk you through the reducing plate workflow and recommended best practices. The reducing plate is designed to enable the use of smaller sheets with the multiplier. It's compatible with sheets cut to A4 and US letter sizes. With those sizes, the available forming area is 250 by 180 millimeters. Before we start, you'll need the reducing plate, sheet material cut to size, heat proof gloves, and an optional white chalk pen. Before using the reducing plate for the first time, we need to prepare the multiplier. We recommend using the provided white chalk pen to mark out the forming area on the bed of the multiplier. To do that, insert the reducing plate into the multiplier. Be sure to align the long edge of the reducing plate with the front edge of the multiplier. Use the white chalk pen to trace the open area of the reducing plate. This will serve as a guide for template placement. Now let's see how to use the reducing plate. Turn all four screws anti-clockwise to loosen them. You don't need to unscrew them all the way. After loosening the four screws, Pull the handle to slide out the top tray and lift upwards. It should slide out easily in one direction. If it is a bit tight, loosen the screws a little bit more. Place the top plate to the side. Select the sheet material and remove any protective film. Position the sheet on the reducing plate and make sure it's centered. Place the top tray back on top of the sheet and slide into place. To secure the sheet material in place, tighten all four finger screws, keeping the pressure roughly equal. Insert the whole reducing plate into the multiplier and ensure that the long edge of the reducing plate is lined up with the front edge of the multiplier. Then run the machine as normal. Although you can use standard Meku profiles with the reducing plate if your material is already listed, we recommend creating a custom profile for your sheet using the new custom mode feature. Once the forming cycle is complete, put on the heatproof gloves. We recommend wearing heatproof gloves as the reducing plate can become quite hot during the forming process. When the forming process is complete, remove the reducing plate from the multiplier. Sometimes the reducing plate can remain stuck within the lid of the multiplier, and if that's the case, simply use a screwdriver to release it whilst holding the bottom of the plate to stop it from dropping. Now loosen all four finger screws, slide and lift the top tray out. Remove the form from the reducing plate. Now your finished part is ready to use. The reducing plate is a valuable accessory to streamline the pressure forming process. To learn more about our pressure forming products and accessories, check out the links in the description and visit meku.me for more information.